Hi, so today we're looking at pre-calculus chapter two. We're going to be um, doing one of the delta math problems um, titled graphing parabolas level three. And the directions say you're going to plot the given parabola on the axes, plot the roots, the vertex, and two other points, which ends up being uh, uh, five points. Okay, I picked this one because it had uh, several things. First of all, it has a negative um, coefficient on the leading term. So the first thing I'm going to do is factor out a negative sign, which will make the x squared positive, will make the 22x positive, and make the 112 positive as well. And then I'm going to factor the x squared plus 22x plus 12 to x plus 8 and x plus 14, okay? Which means if you set each of those equal to 0, you're going to have um, points on the x-axis at negative 8, and negative 14. But if you come down to the graph, you're going to notice it only goes up to negative 12. So you need to scale the x-axis. I'm just going to go by twos and then click done. Uh, so it'll go all the way to negative 20. If you need like a number in between, you just click halfway. Okay. Then I, um, I believe that my vertex is going to be at negative 11, 9, so I should be okay. If you need, if your vertex is going to be extreme, you can scale the y-axis as well. And you can always click reset if you need to. Okay? So where did I say I need the points? Negative 8 and negative 14. Okay. If you go halfway between those two points, so like here to negative 11, that's where your vertex is going to be at. So if you plug... Um, negative 11 in, you're going to get out positive 9. So negative 11, go up 9. So you would just take negative 11 and square it, then take the opposite. Then you would multiply negative 22 times negative 11 minus 22. You should get 9. I'd do that in a calculator because that one's crazy. Okay. So I just need two more points. So I'm going to pick a point um, between negative 8 and negative 11. So I just picked negative 10, but you could pick negative 9 if you wanted to. And so if you plug in negative 10 back up here, negative 10 squared is 100. The opposite of 100 is negative 100. And then negative 22 times negative 10 is 220 plus 220 minus 112. Punch it into the calculator you should get 8. So at negative 10, you should have a point up at 8. Got to squint because I'm old. And then since um, parabolas are symmetrical, you can go to the exact same spot on the ap opposite side of where, where this uh, line of symmetry would be. So right here, put another point. You can calculate it if you want to. And you should get the same thing. If you don't get the same thing, check check your uh, answer. So now I've got five points. One, two, three, four, five. And the direction said that um, the root, you need to have the roots and the vertex. So the roots are here and here on the x-axis. And here's obviously the vertex. And then two other, any two other points. Okay, so let's check it. All right, likes it. All right, so here's another one in graphing parabolas level three. And so this one I need to, I'm going to need to scale not only the x-axis, but also the y-axis. So that's why I kind of searched for this one. So it says, same directions, plot the given parabola on the axes, plot the roots, the vertex, and two other points. Okay. And it has that negative leading coefficient again, meaning it's going to open down. So if I factor out a negative, it's going to be positive x squared plus 6x minus 55. So when you factor it to a binomial times a binomial, you should get x plus 11 and x minus 5. So when you go to graph those two points on the x-axis, you should have the opposite of each of those. So you should have one at negative 11. And so if your, um, your scale is only at 1, your, your x-axis is only going to go to negative 10. So I changed the scale to 2. That means negative 11 is halfway between negative 10 and negative 12. And then positive 5 is halfway between the 4 and the 6. So I've got 
my two um, roots plotted. Now I need to get my vertex. So I found the, the number that was halfway between these, which is negative three. So if you take negative three and plug it in here and here, you're going to get negative three squared, which is nine. Um, take the opposite and then negative six times negative three would be positive 18 plus 55. Punch it in your calculator and you should get 64. Okay. But if your y-axis is at a scale of one, you're not going to have enough space to put it on there. So I tried different scales and you can just reset it. You can try different numbers until you find one that works for you. I'd settled on eight because um, 64 is exactly right here. So it, I was able to say, oh, okay, I have a, an, a point that's exactly where I want it to be. So negative three and then go up to 64 and there's the vertex. And then we need any two, two other points. So the easiest one for me, was zero because it's so easy to multiply by zero. So zero squared is zero. Six times zero is zero. Zero, zero. <laughs> and so when you take zero and add 55, you should get 55. So we should have a point at zero, 55. Now this one's a little trickier. If I click right below the 56, let's see if it likes it. And that is one and a half units that way. So if I go one and a half units this way, I should also have a point at 55. Is it gonna like it? Yes, it goes through all of those points. Just with those, if it's not exactly on it, go as close as you can get, submit your answer, and it likes it, okay? Okay, all right, so looks like they, did they scale it the same as I did? They did, they scaled it the same as I did, okay, awesome.